wasn't able to get there in time. And you know, this is this has been the same problem that Coach Jared has been pointing out all throughout the season. And so far, it's still, you know, it's, it's still haunting the girls. Parang uh, kaya nakakaroon ng malaking lamang ang lasal. Kaya hindi rin nakaka-opensa yung UP. It's mainly because they're having difficulties in service reception. And Coach Jared is also having difficulties in terms of the type of uh, rotation he puts in on the floor because Tiu wasn't really the uh, main libero for this team. It was actually Diane Cuevas. So Coach uh, Jarrell trying to shuffle his lineup a little bit. Uh, we don't even see their best player, Araneta, on the floor right now. But then again, this season is uh, already in the books for Coach Jarod, they will not make it to the Final Four. So he's just trying to give the rest of the players on his team a chance to show what they can do and try to build for next season. Too strong on that reception. It goes right back. You able to keep that one alive. We have to credit her for that. Oh, oh. but Michelle Gumabo, just too smart. She made it look very simple. Look at this one drop right behind the uh, blocker. You unable to get there in time. Gumabo just positioning her finger so that the ball would go towards the right. Another point for LaSalle. And they are having an even better set here in set number two as they are up 16 to three. Still here inside the arena in San Juan City as we have the University of the Philippines Navy Maroons taking on the De La Salle University Lady Spikers. Substitutions are being made here by Coach Ramil De Jesus as Tatlonghari and Garbin have checked into the game. We saw them a while ago in the latter part of the first set. Maranio to serve once again for De La Salle University. The officials uh, trying to sort some things out here in our scorer's table. But play will resume here. This is, uh, this is our second offering here on this Saturday. Oh, UP continuing to have a miserable time receiving the serves of De La Salle University. They have to do something about this. Going into this game, LaSalle, number one in the tournament with a total of 81 service aces, 22 of which came from Charlene Cruz and 21 from the rookie, Aragala. Now, uh, the second stringers making sure that every minute spent on the court Making their presence felt. Mm -hmm. Denise Stan there. It's a nice spike from the weak side. Oh, this is going to be a gift. But UP able to keep it alive. Palad. Some quality minutes here for Tatlong Hari and Tan. Now, if you look at Lasal, the lineup, no matter who it is, they field in. Service. Be it from, you know, the starting from the starting six or those coming from the second stringers, you'll see that they have one thing in common. Everybody is just really tall. <laughs> and we can see the difficulty of Del Rosario to break through that very tall double block of the Lady Spikers. But she'll try again. Jack Rue is able to receive that one. It's a free ball for UP here. It's a back set for South Ramos. Off the fingers of LaSalle. Going down the line there. Was Victor Naragalan. Nobody home for UP. And I think UP is in danger of 
being limited to the lowest number of points in any set so far here this season. I, I don't remember uh, any team scoring just uh, this uh, little points in a single set. But uh, UP still has time to build it up. Del Mundo checking back into the ball game for Magdalas. 11, Del Mundo in her fourth season in the UAP for UP. Garbin could not chase down that second ball. And Pan was definitely out of position for that attack. Making it very difficult for her to get it over that net. Went straight to the net. Joyce Palad now to serve here for UP. Del Mundo goes for the quick set to Hinido. And that ball actually fell right in, in the middle where itong si Coach Jared, you know, he has uh, uh, reminded the team na yun dapat yung tina-target nila. No? Let's see if the girls will realize that and uh, do that to at least get, uh, you know, just to at least make their score a little bit closer to that of Lasalle. That's another point for UP, so they are making a run here. This is a mini run for the Lady Maroons. Service. Joyce Palad again to serve here. One of the veterans, also in her fourth year for UP. Season now in the game for LaSalle. And finally, LaSalle breaking that scoring drought. Victor Naragana continues to shine here in Season 74. Already had a couple of games wherein she was the top scorer for the Lady Spikers. It's a back set for South Ramos. Oh, easily tipped there by Cha Cruz. Maroons needs to do more than uh, just this. I think at this point, what you need is to just really play smart. You know that you're up against tall blockers. You just have to make sure that it will clear the blockers of Lasal. Aragalan there with a service error. South Ramos now to serve for UP. Cha Cruz popping it up. Garbin goes to Tatlonghari. Tatlonghari wipes it. Tatlonghari enjoying that point. Asal is closing in on this second set. They are two points away. This is Denise Tan. Tatlonghari sends it back, and there's no way UP can make that volleyball playable once again. Set point for De La Salle University here in set number two. Alexandra Denise Tan to serve. Oh, and that Ooh, will do it. La Salle with another service ace. They take set number two, an even better performance for the Lady Spikers as the score 25 to 8. Set number 3 coming up. Keep it right here on Studio 23 for more of the UAAP Season 74 Women's Volleyball Tournament.